check, check, mic, check. Okay, so we have been working with the folks in the equities text room on a Sierra chart project to automate the setting of volume at price multiples, or this setting right here for equities, because it needs to be changed depending on what stock you're looking at, because something like Tesla, which is very wide um, and has, has very wide range bars, you want to group some of these volume prices together versus something like, I don't know, Pfizer or VIX, which is very thick and you want a very low volume by price setting. So instead of managing this by hand manually uh, every single day and adjusting it every single day, Sierra Chart has a couple of features uh, that we can tap into. So what we've done is written a small C++ study and what we've done I'm just going to walk through it. basically it's going to change the volume at price multiple automatically for us depending on what that stock is doing on that day so if for example AMD is having a very wide range day it'll go ahead and bump that up manually and or automatically and if it's having a very low range day then it will go ahead and adjust it. So just to walk you through the code base here, um, the, the real meat of it is this section here is preventing us from rerunning this on every single uh, tick that comes through. We only want to run it at the beginning of a bar. Um, we want to go ahead and loop through the last 10 bars here and grab and calculate the high minus the low, in other words, the true range of that bar. We're taking the average of the last 10 bars ranges, and then we are just going to get the average bar differential uh, over the last 10 bars. And then we're gonna, we found that the sweet spot of 30 cents or 30 ticks, which is a magic number, um, is what makes visually consumable uh, footprints and, and, and volume uh, profile structures based on the footprint how I have it set up here. So this is the ideal as far as we could find magic number for for setting those and then we just go ahead and set that after doing a little safety check to make sure we're not setting it to zero and then we can tap into that setting that we have here in the uh, chart settings this volume at price multiple right here we can tap into that by using this SC dot volume at price multiplier and then we just set that and it goes ahead uh, and sets that. So watching it in action, we have something like AMD, which has a setting of three automated right now. Oh, I should show actually how to add this in Sierra. You go ahead to studies, you hit, hit add custom study, and then um, you can add it to, to here. And I have it right there. So we will uh, show AMD there. And then let's look at something like Tesla, which is a lot wider range than AMD and it has automatically updated it to 21 for us and it was just 22 just a, a few minutes ago so it is updating uh, on every new bar it's taking the last 10 bars and c looking at how, what the range was of each one and dividing it by uh, 10 after the summing them all up and then looking at that magic number and then setting that chart setting and then let's look at something thick like VIX so we were just at 21 and now I come over here and we are at a one. So that's again, the code running through that. So I'll go ahead and share this with the community. This is a big um, automation step for uh, looking at footprints and volume profiles on Sierra.